Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our newest video where we're going to be talking about uh, COT analysis and Forex trading. It's going to be a short one. It's really just focusing uh, uh, our attention on, on how uh, COT signals can be useful if you're trading Forex. Before I get started, anybody who's new to the commitments of, commitments of traders report COT analysis, I advise you to watch the following videos. What is commitments of traders analysis and how to use cotbase.com, okay? So uh, for those of you who, who already uh, know or, or have been using our, our site, uh, you're gonna see that the, uh, we, have, we have made some changes to the market names over here. You can see that uh, uh, for instance, uh, beside Australian dollar, we have Australian dollar, US dollar, the Forex pair. Uh, so just just for you, if, you, if you're trading Forex, uh, it's a bit easier to understand what we're talking about. Uh, we've also added the New Zealand dollar. That's a new market that you can access at uh, stotbase.com. So let's open Australian dollar first, and uh, I want to show you uh, what else we've changed. You can choose which price chart you want to look at. So by default, we have the Australian dollars uh, futures contract. Uh, it looks looks this looks like that. And uh, if we change to the Australian dollar, US dollar, you're going to see that uh, it's basically the same chart. So uh, it doesn't change that much. And and it's important to, to understand this because although we get the uh, COT data on the futures contract, you can use it on forex uh, charts also. Uh, and of course, uh, if we look at the inverse of this chart, uh, the U.S. dollar, Aus Australian dollar, uh, you can see that the the COT charts also change to their inverse uh, picture. Okay, so uh, let's get started, and I'm just going to show you a, f a few signals, uh, the major signals that we usually analyze. COT changes in this case, the largest change that happened in this 52-week range over here. You can see uh, that was a buy signal on this chart. Uh, prices uh, increased from there. Uh, another signal over here, this time a sell signal just uh, preceding this uh, decline. Another one over here. Um, moving on to the British, found, British pound, let's have a look at um, uh, that market. And we're gonna, we're gonna change to the five years chart to see COT extremes and how COT extremes can be applied on the British pound US dollar pair. Um, here we go. At my cursor, we can see we have a nice buy signal, uh, COT extreme close to all time levels. Not far, not uh, for afterwards, we can see a very nice sell signal. Then we go back and we find another buy signal, very close to it, a relative extreme, another sell signal. We eventually reach this significant buy signal at all time extreme levels uh, when prices start to incline. But I can also show I can also show you these uh, signals on the Canadian dollar. So uh, let's open the five-year chart, the uh, Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar pair. You're going to see how well uh, these extremes can be used over there. So we had this uh, close to all-time. Actually, this this was an all-time uh, COT extreme back here. That that signal a top in prices. Uh, just before that, we had a nice uh, buy signal over here. Commercials uh, very close to the zero line. Uh, small speculators uh, also at the zero line. Uh, then, then we have a very nice sell signals, and of course you can continue and continue and continue, and you're going to find that these uh, correlations do exist between the COT data and and uh, changes in price. So actually, that's going to be all because it's really uh, this video was trying to focus uh, on on uh, currencies and that uh, anybody who's been uh, uh, trading a forex and didn't really understand how COT analysis can help them. Uh, should by now understand that uh, even though we have this uh, the COT data on futures contracts, uh, since these are measured in uh, in uh, dollar terms, you can be uh, you can apply them on the forex uh, pairs also. So I hope you uh, I hope uh, you could understand uh, what I was trying to tell you. If you have any questions, then do not hesitate to uh, send us an email, and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, so take care. Bye bye.